Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Alex Karanda and I am CTO of Decima Digital. Do you want to have really cool revenue analysis and revenue generation tool? Do you want to have enterprise level instrument for free? You probably heard something about Magento Business Intelligence, but the problem, this tool is available for Google Commerce Cloud users only. What if I tell you that there is a solution for all Adobe Commerce customers? Let me present Microsoft Power BI extension for Adobe Commerce developed by Decima Digital team. The key goal was to share to the community a convenient tool to analyze the business metrics of your Machento based online store and improve overall website conversion. To help to make your business decision wiser, to help to navigate your business better from financial and operational standpoints. This application contains a set of reports and dashboards that gives a solid view of financial and operational results based on the data available on your Magenta instance. This application contains 10 interactive, operational, and strategic dashboards, 65 pre-built reports for deep dive analysis. You can visualize your orders, customers, promotions by period, geographic, stores, website, categories, customer groups, products. This tool is easy to connect and easy to use. No extra coding, no extra extension, no extra access to your sensitive data. Everything is built on top of the native Magento API, which is fully secure. Let us jump into the installation process. To install extension, first of all, go to App Source, Microsoft, try to find Magento Power BI and follow the link. So you would be landed on Magento Power BI page. Despite the fact that Magento Power BI extension is free of charge, you still would be required to have Microsoft Power BI paid subscription. But I think it worth any single penny you pay for this really powerful tool. To start installation, just click get it now. Simply follow all installation steps. It's like a regular Windows. Nothing unusual. Click install, wait before installation complete, and click uh, go to your app. As a default, you would have access to all dashboards and reports, but all these reports are filled with demo data. So you would be required to connect your personal data. To connect your personal data, just click on the link on the top of the page, connect your data, where you should be filling in your domain. So it's URL, actually it's domain name and API key. So just copy paste your domain name of your Magento website here. And to get API key, you would be required to go to Magento back office, go to system integration, extension integration. And here's, it would be required to create a new integration. We usually recommend to create new integration versus use uh, some existing. So you would be creating a specifically Power BI integration. On the next steps, we would be required to configure resource access level for our integration. By default, we can choose all access to simplify process. If we really care about uh, security, we can define specific resources we want to grant access to. For Power BI, it is uh, products, attribute sets, customer, customer groups, websites, stores, uh, orders, and order items only. Let us choose uh, all to keep everything simple. Click save button. So we have a new connection installed, but it's inactive. To activate, you just click active. Validate if it has access to all required resources. Click allow button. And Magento would generate automatically security keys. In our specific configuration, we would be required access token. Copy this access token and fill in into Magento Power BI configuration. Starting Magento 2.4.4, Magento introduced more security settings for services connection. So it would be required to enable some additional options to connect via API tokens. So you should be required to go to services or OAuth, consumer settings, 
and enable allow or aus token authorization put it to yes once you set up your api key click next then sign in into account do not change anything it's uh, everything's okay click connect and magento start downloading the latest data once magento complete downloading the latest data all these dashboards will be rebuilt refreshed with the uh, information from your magento store once we're done with initial data load it also requires to configure your uh, regular data updates for this purposes you should be clicking power bi go to your workspaces find uh, your workspace go to data sets and click uh, settings in the settings you can find schedule it refresh first of all enable schedule it refresh uh, identify the time zone at which time zone you want to this schedule it refresh to be running by default schedule it refresh is running at midnight but you can define your custom time based on your magenta load. Additionally, you can find a parameter section where you can update API keys if it requires. That's all. Enjoy your Magento Power BI application. Hope it helps you better control your business, revenue generation, and help you to grow your business.